Hey guys, my name is Jason John and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing about the benefits of exercise. The first benefit is that it'll help you control your weight. Together with diet, exercise plays an important role in controlling your weight and preventing obesity. To maintain your weight, the calories that you eat and drink must equal the energy you burn. To lose weight, you must use more calories than you eat and drink. Second benefit is that it can reduce your risk of heart disease. Exercise strengthens your heart muscles and improves your circulation. The increased blood flow raises the oxygen levels in your body. This helps lower your risk of heart disease such as high cholesterol, coronary artery disease, and heart attacks. Regular exercise can also lower your blood pressure and triglyceride levels. The third benefit is that it can help your body manage blood sugar and insulin levels. Exercise can lower your blood sugar levels and help your insulin work better. This can cut down your risk of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. If you already have one of those diseases, exercise can help you manage it. The fourth benefit is that it can help you quit smoking. Exercise can make it easier to quit smoking to reduce the cravings and the withdrawal symptoms. It can also help limit the weight you might gain from stopping smoking. The fifth benefit is that it can improve your mental health and mood. During exercise your body releases chemicals and it can improve your mood and it can make you feel more relaxed. This can help you deal with stress and reduce your risk of depression. The sixth benefit is that it can help keep your thinking, learning and judgment skills sharp as you age. Exercise stimulates your body to release proteins and other chemicals that improve the structure and function of your brain. The seventh benefit is that it can strengthen your bones and muscles. Regular exercise can help kids and teens build strong bones. Later in life, it can also slow the loss of bone density that comes with age. Doing muscle strengthening activities can help you increase or maintain your muscle mass and strength. Eighth benefit is that it can reduce your risk in, of some cancers, including colon, breast, uterine, and lung cancer. Ninth benefit is that it can reduce your risk of falls. For older adults, research shows that doing balance and muscle strengthening activities in addition to moderate intensity aerobic activity can help reduce your risk of falling. Tenth benefit is that it can improve your sleep. Exercise can help you fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Eleventh benefit is that it can improve your sexual health. Regular exercise may lower your risk of erectile dysfunction in men and for those who have already have erectile dysfunction, exercise can help improve their sexual function. In women, exercise may increase sexual arousal. Benefit number 12. It can increase your chances of living longer. Studies show that physical activity can reduce your risk of dying early from leading causes of death like heart disease and some cancers. As a family physician myself, I have told all of my patients about the benefits of exercise. But today I'm going to take my first step to start exercising daily.
so can you. American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity aerobic activity such as walking on a treadmill or 75 minutes per week of vigorous aerobic activity such as running on a treadmill or a combination of both preferably spread throughout the week. Comment down below what you're going to be doing to increase your physical activity. And I wish you good luck with your journey and I'll see you next week.